You know, the first thing that I'd like to ask, I know you came actually from a CS major and you changed your major into data science. So what, mm -hmm. what was kind of your thought process there? Um, right. And, you know, do you, in the longer term, did you find that that was a good decision? Would it not really have made a difference? What, what was your feeling about that? Right. So, um, so up until the first semester of my third year in college, I, I was actually a CS major, like you said. But during that semester, I got into stock trading and I studied like um, how to read charts and, you know, those indicators and, you know, some of the variables that affect stock prices. Um, and I came across the field of predictive analytics, analytics where you can use the history of data to predict stock prices. And then I found out, found out about the, uh, the data science field where you can um, turn raw data into something meaningful. Um, so I researched more about the field and I found out that it's an interdisciplinary field of CS, stats, and business. And I was trying to, um, I guess I was trying to minor in stats at the time, but then they actually, my, my school actually announced that they're going to have an undergraduate data science program the following semester, which was perfect timing for me. So then I decided to switch my major from CS to data science. And um, yeah, I probably would have minored in, minored in stats if, I, if they didn't have data science program, but that would have probably delayed my graduation by a semester or two. So everything worked out perfectly fine for me. Awesome. It seems like, you know, that type of degree really spoke mm -hmm. to your specific interests. And I think that that's right. really important. Like for me, when you're in school, you should be studying things that are relevant for your career, but also mm -hmm. that are most interesting to you. You know, for example, right. I think that, well, I would probably argue that a, a, a DS undergrad or a CS undergrad would probably have very similar, um, similar opportunities, right. exactly. but at the same time, you were probably able to get better opportunities through your DS undergrad because you were more engaged in the coursework. You probably tried to push it harder uh, in that degree path. So, you know, for right. anyone watching, I think it's just as much about the effort you put in. Um, and that's tied to like, if you're interested in what you're studying genuinely. So, you know, you know, with that being said about like the coursework, what, what did, what did, a, you know, what hmm. type of classes were involved in that? What did that structure actually look like? And right. do you know if that's pretty uniform across the board or is that fairly different at different universities? Right, so I researched about like, you know, Bachelor of Data Science program in the, in the US and I found out that there's about like 60 colleges that have wow, that's a lot. <laughs> data science programs, yeah. Obviously, I'm assuming they'd be different depending on the school. But um, um, like I mentioned, it, I, from my experience, it was a combination of CS, stats, and math. And yeah, um, all the CS and math or stats classes were very helpful to me because they were um, project-based. So um, I feel like I learned a lot from um, those classes. I feel like I gained practical skills. But um, for the math, math courses, I had to take a couple of um, proof-based classes that math majors take, but I didn't really find them useful at all. So instead of those classes, I wish they had a course where you learn about how you can um, incorporate or apply data science into like a business. Let's say like a course where you can learn how to apply data science into the music industry or sports or you know automobile, etc. So that would have been amazing probably for me. Um, however, you know. It, doesn't really, you know, you can't really, you don't really have a, have a control over the courses you take from course. the university. Yeah. Right, um, right. <laughs> so, it, like, more specifically, like, what courses for math did you take? What programming courses did you take? Like, for example, in my CS degree, I took, um, mm. like, algorithms, two, two courses on those, data structures, discrete math. Uh, yeah. I had to take, like, a, a software engineering, like, design principles course. And then I took a bunch of electives on like Monte Carlo simulation and those types of things. And then like a couple deep learning courses, right. um, you know, what kind of, for just to give some context, what type of courses you don't have to go through all of them, but what were like the relevant programming ones and the relevant math yeah. ones? So from the CS side, I took uh, basic programming classes in C++ and Java. Um, they were object oriented programming classes. And I also took data structures and algorithms. Um, discrete math, 
and machine learning, deep learning, and big data. And from the stats side, they were more focused on you know, probability and statistics where you learn about different distributions and you know, all different um, statistical, statistical tests. And from the math side, I remember taking um, all those calculus classes, linear algebra, and some of the um, upper level proof-based classes that, like I said, they didn't find really useful. <laughs> Well, you know, I think that that's like a fairly robust, um, you know, course load. I, I like that they had you taking like very legitimate computer science courses, not like right. a data science version of the computer science course. I think mm -hmm. that that's something that you see in quite a few programs. And I don't know if I'd really recommend that. I think like, yeah, as a data scientist, you have to do like legitimate software engineering sometimes. Exactly. Um, and it's good that they actually included you with you know, the computer science majors, whatever that might be. Um, mm -hmm. for, for people watching again, like, I think that that's a, a good quality of uh, one of these, uh, you know, undergraduate data science programs. If they do lump you in with CS students sometimes and with math majors sometimes, exactly. that's a mm -hmm. positive thing.